my name is Alex, and maybe if I can explain what happened to me, then you'll understand why I'm gonna die. We need to talk. You seem to have gotten yourself into some trouble since I've been gone. Am I supposed to know you? When you look in the mirror, Alex, what stares back at you? No. No, that's impossible. You're not alive. You can't be. alive, Alex. I'm gonna be sick. No, I, 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 I. Sit the fuck back down. Swallow that shit. See what you did. You got me all riled up, Alex. We need to relax. Take a deep breath. You know, I'm actually very surprised by you. You know, I mean, you could never do shit without me. You're such a little chicken shit. And then you send me away, and all of a sudden, we have this little issue that we need to resolve. Okay. What issue? Hmm. What issue? How about the bloody fucking mess in your bed right now? I don't know who that is. I just woke up. Alex, you know exactly who that is. No. I swear to God, I do not know who that is. Don't swear! Our mother taught us better than that. God rest her soul. Besides, it's an insult to Freud. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Alex, you cannot have repressed that much. What are you even talking about, okay? I do not know who that is in my bed. You mean to look me in the face and tell me that you don't recognize your own sister? No, see? See, I never had a sister. Well, I had a sister, Alex. So that must mean that you had a sister. Cindy? Does the name Cindy ring a bell? No. I don't know anyone named Cindy, and I don't know who that is in my bed. You know exactly who that is in your bed. Cindy is your sister, and you fucking murdered her! Quit lying to me. You didn't just love her like a sister, Alex. Stop! Quit telling lies! You loved her like your lover. Enough!
never could reconcile the two parts of myself. I guess love is stronger than blood, but my conscience is stronger still. I'm sorry, Cindy. <laughs> 